we have here another power rule that is power of a quotient if x and y are real numbers and m and n are positive integers then the quantity of x divide y raised to the power of m is equal to x to the power of m over y to the power of m okay let's ha let us have an example Okay, example number one, the quantity of A over B raised to the power of 8. So, following the rules, that is equal to A to the power of 8 over B to the power of 8. Example number two, the quantity of negative three divide five raised to the power of three. So following the rule, we have negative three raised to the power of three over five raised to the power of three. And we can simplify this expression okay so that is equal to negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 well, we, we multiply negative 3 3 times because of the exponent 3 and then in the denominator 5 times 5 times 5 okay then Multiply negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 that is equal to negative 27 over 5 times 5 times 5 that is equal to 125 So the result is negative 27 over 125 <laughs> Okay, let us have an example number three. Okay. The quantity of 2G over H raised to the power of 5. So distribute 5 to each term. So we have 2 raised to the power of 5 times G raised to the power of 5. As well as in the denominator, we have H raised to the power of Five. Okay, two raised to the power of five can be simplified. That is two times two times two times two times two times z times g to the power of five over h to the power of five. These numbers here is equal to thirty-two. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. Then copy g to the power of 5 over h to the power of to the power of 5. So this is our final answer. Example number four, the quantity of negative seven over eight raised to the power of two. So distribute two to each term here. We have negative two, seven raised to the power of two over eight raised to the power of two. These numbers here can be simplified. Negative seven squared is negative seven times negative 7 as well as in the denominator we have 8 times 8 then simplify negative 7 times negative 7 that is positive 49 over 8 times 8 that is equal to 64 so this is our final 
answer, 49 over 64. Example number five, the quantity of x cubed times y over z to the power of four. So distribute z to the power of four raised to the power of six. Distribute six to each term here. So we have x, six times three, and it becomes 18. Then six times four y, we have six times one is equal to six. And then in the denominator, z, z times 4, that is equal to 24. And that is our final answer because this cannot be simplified. That is our simplest form.